Where did you find this? In a laundry cart right outside did the door. Did anyone else see it besides the person that changed the sheet? I don't know. I don't think so. Do you think there's a possibility she could still be in danger? Yeah, I think there's a possibility. I'm going to take this to Cruz. Listen, I, I need for you to go back to the hospital. I need for you to stay by Suzanne. Don't leave okay. her side for any reason. Do you understand? I understand. All right, I'm going to go to the station. I'll be there as soon as possible. Okay. Hoping it's not too late. You know, uh, uh, Doctor, I hate to inconvenience you, but I feel the, I feel the need to pursue this. Yes. I have no idea who'd want to harm Miss Collier. I am myself, after all, a stranger here. That's right. The name Disgrazia is, is Italian, if my ear's any good. Well, it's good enough to discern that I'm not a native, but I did live for many years in Genoa. Genoa? Uh-huh. And what brings you to the States? You ask a lot of questions, Inspector. May I ask one of my own? Certainly. Is this an official interrogation, or are you just habitually nosy? <laughs> well... Uh, that's a good question. I, I suppose a little of both. Um, I'm nothing if not naturally curious about people, which stood me in good stead during my earlier tenure in the intelligence community. Oh, you're a spy. Uh, in so many ways. Ah, yeah. I bet you were good at keeping secrets. Well, I don't know about that, but I, I, I noticed that people do tend to tell me things, something about my face, perhaps. And in that vein, I was hoping that you would tell me, perhaps, if... If your relationship with Miss Collier went beyond your typical doctor-patient privilege. I'm not quite sure what you're driving at. Perhaps I'm making it too complicated. Prior to her accident, did you ever call her on the phone? Or, or send her, her a, a note, note. Or send her a on note. Distinctive stationery, tied yeah. with the initial N. That's a little too neat, don't you think? As far as the missing painting. Yeah, what about that? My taste runs the Dutch masters. Are you familiar with the anatomy lesson by Rembrandt? Uh, vaguely. Oh. Well, that is the painting that inspired me to become a doctor. Excuse me now, I've got to get to work. Oh, of course. Forgive me, I. You don't have any objections if I sit with Miss Collier for a while, do you? Oh, I have no objections at all. Great, thank you. Very interesting talking to you. Yes, thank you. came to Santa Barbara, you were on a, a rescue mission that was doomed to fail, except that you didn't know the meaning of the word. My, my life was exploded. It was hanging in pieces, suspended, waiting to fall. But you didn't let it happen. You gathered me out of thin air and put me back together again, piece by piece. You wouldn't let me come apart. You demanded that I find the strength somehow to face each new day, even though I dreaded the idea. You would not take no for an answer. And now it's my turn to be stubborn. Okay? Because you have to wake up. Suzanne, you hear me? You have to wake up. Now, I know, I know something terrible has happened that has hurt you and frightened you a great deal. And I understand that you feel like you might need to check out right now, but, but you just can't hide. You know, darling, you, you can't hide. You've got, you've got to find a way to climb back out of wherever you are. You have to wake up and help me find out who did this to you. You have a good life that you've made for yourself in Santa Barbara in spite of a great deal of personal pain. And you owe it to yourself to come back and get on with it. Don't quit. Okay? 
Suzanne. Don't quit. Come back. If you need to take some time to rest and, and, and get your strength back together again, that's okay. But as soon as you can, open your eyes and come back to us. <laughs>